Uh, my interest in uh, modern slavery uh, stems from the idea that human beings should be flourishing and that God wants us all to flourish. And uh, modern slavery is one of the mechanisms that prevents people from flourishing because they're exploited, often kept in uh, inhumane conditions and certainly don't have the right to liberty. The Anglican Church was part of a very broad coalition in Australia that uh, called for the introduction of modern slavery laws. Uh, so the Public Affairs Commission of our church put in submissions as did the uh, Social Responsibilities Committee. Those laws now require us to examine uh, the products that we buy, making sure that we understand where they come from, uh, ensure that we are not uh, complicit in the practice of modern slavery. We can ensure that things that are hidden in darkness can be brought into the light. One of the tips for dealing with modern slavery is to, to break things down into simple steps. Here at the cathedral as we were looking uh, at our supply chains, one of the uh, areas that we thought needed uh, immediate attention was uh, Sunday coffee. And we decided that the easiest way to ensure that the products we were using were slavery free was to buy Australian products. So we buy Australian produced biscuits, we use Australian grown tea. With a few very simple changes to the products we were using, we were able to ensure that Sunday morning coffee was slavery free. Uh, one of the great things about being part of the diocese is that we actually can actually work on this together, share our stories um, so that we can encourage one another. I know Theresa Day is planning to bring out some training resources so that we can uh, turn what looks like a very daunting prospect into something that's really quite simple. Together we can make a difference.